Hey, it's the comment section bullshit. Or is it the bullshit comment section? I forget. It's all bullshit anyway. We're back. Duracell, coach, what's happening? How are you guys doing? I'm doing uh, pretty good. Nothing really. You guys noticed we did a little different intro there? Yeah. No. Like no music yet, right? I'm going to play the music. All right. But I want to hold off on a second. I want to set something up. This is an extra podcast. Extra podcast? It's extra. Extra spicy? Extra spicy. No, this is going to be the first annual comment section bullshit year in review we're gonna go back in time a little late it's january 12th well you saw 2020 right (laughs) that shit show took a bit out of us and uh so here we are you like that that's my rewind of the tape i kind of like it yeah well now i'll play the music just so everybody feels like they're all at home there yeah comment section bullshit bringing you the one thing that was missing went through 2020 has you wor- worked, walked? Has you entered into 2021? Has we penetrated 2021's outer walls? We realized we needed to look back at 2020 and say to ourselves, what the ever-loving actual fuck just happened? And so here we are. And uh, I'm pretty happy with it. I've got I've got some 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 interesting things planned up for us here. Uh, what's the agenda looking like agenda. today? Well, I'm nah. glad you asked that question. This being... An extra show, uh-huh. right? Um, I'm going to actually completely steal someone else's work. Why work twice as hard? When I don't have to. True that. I was looking up 2020. Like, what happened in 2020, right? Like, Because it's, it's too much. Mm-hmm. There's too much. It's it's just too much. It really um, was. And and I, I found my good friend um, over Dave Barry, is his name, uh-huh. at the Wall Street Journal. He wrote something that I consider art. It's quite amazing. And uh, that's the agenda. That's all. That's it. The whole thing. We're going to just read. I'm going to read that to you. Talk about it. And we'll go from there. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing special involved in that. All right. And we're going to like brain web off to different things. Right? Yeah, there's a brain web that's going to happen. That's good, coach. Brain Did you web. just make that up? Brain web? Yeah. Did you? Yeah. Really? Never yeah. My life. I've never heard brain web. You guys never like in your head thought of something and then it brought to a letter of thought, which brought to another, but there's always one main thought behind it. Yeah, brain I, web. I, I, you know, it's great. I kind of like how a spider makes a web. It starts with the middle. Okay, of the yeah, yeah, we understand. Explaining the web. Um, okay, no, I I think we call that brainstorming. Wait, it's not really brain. No, you no. you got like a unique thing there. Brain web. Brain web. Brain web. What else would you call that? I don't know. Um, I, <laughs> can't web to something else. You're really. done. No, not not really at all. You're done. I mean, I've just always called it a brain web. Um, yeah, yeah. There are illustrations in this uh, thing here. I'll show you. Look at this. This is the mess. Oh wait, is Coach that? wants to touch it. Wants to hold. Well, it. I want to see it closer. Yeah, there's a lot so going on there. So you see. So the first thing that caught my eye was the 2020 in the middle. I didn't even see that. So if y'all don't see that, no, I just thought that was like um, kind of a mess of the two of, of zero paint. two zero. No, it's there. It's there. All right. It's like an it's an abstract painting with, uh, and then the second thing that caught my eye were the two people wearing mask and a toilet face cover paper. running with toilet paper. That's uh, pretty cool. The toilet paper thing is, I mean, I don't even know what to make of that. There's a Black Lives Matter going on. Does that say BML on his shirt? Do you see that? Uh, yeah, I think it does say BLM. Uh, that's all I see. They still matter, by the way. Oh, for sure. Yeah, there's, okay, you can check it out. He's passed the painting to Duracell for Duracell's up close interpretation. Duracell's you pensive. Got the hornets in there. Ah, he the found hornets. the yeah the, horn, the We're going to talk about yeah. that. We're going to talk about uh, that. The hornet? Oh, those those um. There's more than one. Wouldn't that be something if a killer hornet <laughs> was loose in America? Right. Like Have you seen it? Singular? Like, how do you even see that? Has anybody seen it? It's like a Mothman. Yeah, well, like a Mothman was like big though. A hornet would be like a hornet. Like it's just one killer hornet. Well, if it's one tiny hornet, then that's stupid because <laughs> it's a hornet. We don't know. There could have been just. I'd one. be more scared of a yellow jacket than a hornet. Well, there could have been just one hornet, repeatedly stinging people, and maybe we just thing. assumed it was a swarm, but really there's one row hornet. It's the longest thing I've ever seen. Well, I'm not it's just story. Hand it over. Hand it over. Hand it over. Hand me did back. you scroll down? I thought you were just looking no, at. The I know picture. he's cheated. He skipped ahead. What month did you get to? All the way down. Oh, he went all the way to the bottom. Yeah. Well. Here we go. I'm not reading all that, right? We'll skip around a little bit. Take but four hours. I mean, we've got time. Four um, hours? See, I've got four hours. I don't have four hours. I'm an important, important business meeting later. <laughs> and you, it's over your shoulder? Yeah. <laughs> That's where you have to be. 
Um, all right. So Dave Barry wrote this thing. It's quite something. Um, we're trying to think of something nice to say about 2020. Okay. Here it goes. Nobody got killed by the murder hordes. Are we sure? No, that's it. But no, I don't. I'm not sure. I have no idea. I have no no clue at all. And someone could have died. Well, we don't really know. I feel like but, someone died. But my point is, that's all that we could think to say about 2020 that was good. <laughs> said nobody that we know of was murdered by the murder hornets. I'm Googling it. You're, oh, that's excellent work. Good job, Darissa. Fact checker. All right. Um, this, this wonderful article, which is really, really wonderful. It goes over month by month, right? So in the past, and this is Dave Barry, remember? I want to give him all the credit because I read this and I thought, that guy knows what he's talking about. In the past, yeah, writing, no these annual, writing these annual reviews, uh, we've said harsh things about previous years. Um, we owe those years an apology. Compared to 2020, all previous years, even the disco era, were the golden, ga- golden age of human existence. This was a year of nonstop awfulness. A year when we kept you it. You can get behind that. You can get behind that. Yeah. A year when we kept it uh, saying it couldn't possibly get worse, and it always did. This was a year in which our moments of genuine, unadulterated happiness were when we were able to buy toilet paper. That's it. That's it? Yeah. 2020. Wait, that's, oh, no, that's sorry. not it. With I, the thing. I was like, holy yeah, shit. No, I'm done. Wrap it up. We're all done yeah, here. So no one died, but like people got. So- 62 people got stung by them. That's it. 62 people. Yeah, that's it. That's that, insane. That, that one hornet was busy. Um, 2020 was one long howling category five crap storm. Agreed. We sincerely don't want to relive this year, but our job is to review it. And that's how I felt when I read this article. I'm like, yeah, I need to review. We got to talk about 2020. We can't just like let it be in the past. A lot of people said you should do a New Year's Eve show. And I'm like, 2020 doesn't get a New Year's Eve show. New Year's Eve show. Yeah, is, and, and even though like the clock was like a minute behind, wasn't it? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. The the ball dropped a minute behind the clock at our house, and our clock at our house is yeah. definitely accurate. So I don't even know what happened there. Um, yeah, twenty twenty didn't want to leave. So Did not on. want to stay for one more minute. We don't want to live. We we don't want to relive this year. If you would prefer to skip this exercise in, in mac, uh, mac, mac, uh, masochism, uh, we completely understand. So if you want to tune us off now. We haven't even got into it yet. If you want to turn us off and we come back, into it yet? we're going to have an, our, our Martin Luther King uh, show coming up like we had last year. We can see you then. If you're done with 2020, I'll give you a minute. Go ahead. Here, I'll think it over. Turn up the music. Okay. Well, if you should also turn it off for those people who like can't really concentrate with music. Oh, like okay. All right. Now, both I don't groups. I like those people. Both, yeah, they suck, right? Both groups... Have been given a, a chance. January, February, March. <laughs> We're not April. What? No, I'm not calling. May. <laughs> We're starting the review now. Oh, January, February, which begins with all of Washington, as well as parts of Virginia and Maryland, gripped by the gripping historic drama of the impeachment of Donald Trump. Remember that? I do not oh, remember God. that. That's how the year started. Guess where we're at th- right th- now? This it January with a war. No, no, no. What? With Iraq. Iraq or whatever. I don't even know what you're they talking about. They wanted to start a war because they killed the general or whatever. The drone? That's later. That's, in that's January. later. No, that's in January. But, but that's not the start. That's not the start. The start in my head. Well, guess what we're doing today? What? Impeaching President Trump. Congrats. <laughs> One fucking year later, <laughs> second impeachment. Now, I don't think there's ever been a, sec- a, a president who was impeached twice, but it's about to happen. Well, he didn't get impeached the first time. He did. He just didn't get removed from office. Oh. The articles of impeachment were approved, I think, by the House, maybe not the Senate, but they were approved. Um, but we were all gripped, right? So to set the stage, back in mid-December, the House of Representatives passed two articles of impeachment, after which Speaker Nancy Pelosi, in accordance with the U.S. Constitution, handed out souvenir signing pens. This is not really in accordance with anything. She, signing pens? You had to sign the impeachment papers. Oh. Pelosi handed out souvenir pens. Everyone expected that Pelosi would then send the articles to the Senate, but as of early January, the Senate had not received them. People are wondering if Pelosi, what with her various official duties and hairdressing appointments, because if you've seen this woman, she's got the hair of a weird person, maybe she forgot to send them. Or maybe she tried to send them, but because of bureaucratic snafu, they wound up at a different federal entity, such as the Coast Guard. Why the Coast Guard? Why not the Coast Guard? Out of all places, why the Coast Guard? I don't have an answer for that. 
Okay. You're, you're, you're stunned, aren't you? No. A little bit. Eventually, however, the articles did arrive at the Senate where the majority leader, Mitch, the undertaker McConnell, promises that the impeachment issue will receive full and fair consideration. He is, of course, joking, but this is not obvious because even when Mitch is a jovial is in a jovial mood, he looks like a man passing a kidney stone the size of the Hope Diamond. Have you seen Mitch McConnell? He looks like half of a Muppet and not the good half. Hope Diamond's actually not that big. It, well, people For think... a diamond, it's big, but it's like this big. That's pretty big. That's as big as your head. Yeah, I know, but it's, it's the size still, of people the, think it's like huge, but it's not. I think that's the size people think it is. No, people think it's the size. Of is it. that the question of the week? What size do you think the Hope Diamond is? I don't even know what the Hope Diamond is. It's a big diamond. It's, the, it's a big diamond. It's the biggest diamond in the world. <laughs> it's really nothing. It's stuck. literally just as big. Yeah. Well, when I think of a Hope Diamond, I think of that uh, one show, Bold and the Beautiful. Right. Uh, it was. It was on that show. Yeah. Karen's always watching it. So I've mm-hmm. always, you know, I had to know they actually didn't use the Hope Diamond for the Hope Diamond. They used st- another diamond in place of the Hope Diamond. So that diamond on that show was not as big as the actual Hope Diamond. Uh, Why okay. do you guys know so much about the show? It's the greatest television show on TV. I, I don't watch think it. So. Do you watch it? I watch it. I don't watch Why? it. It's the greatest television show on TV. No. It's like got 38 episodes, 38 seasons of just ridiculousness. Somebody's baby is somebody else's baby and it's ridiculous. Okay. Uh, meanwhile, in other political news, all eyes are on Iowa as it prepares for the caucuses, which are closely scrutinized by, because they are the first opportunity for a tiny group of unrepresentative voter, voters to engage in an incomprehensible and deeply flawed process by which they anoint presidential candidates who traditionally go to fail. This year, in an effort to modernize the caucuses, the Iowa Democratic Party has upgraded from its old-fashioned manual reporting procedures to a modern, state-of-the-art app based on the same software used in the Boeing 737 MAX airliner, which you might remember crashed like 12 times. It did? Yeah. This is true. So our government said, you know what would be great to use? (laughs) The software that Boeing's using for the crashing airplane, which, by the way, in 2021, Uh Boeing's been found liable, and I think they're having to pay reparations to whoever because of their crappy Boeing 737 MAX. Really? Yeah. Mm. So, see, this is why it's nice to wait a couple of days before you do the review because you get these other updates. In international news, the big story is a U.S. targeted drone strike. There you go, Duracell. I told, you, I told you you just had to wait. Ordered by Trump. January 3rd, though. Uh, it's not. When was it? I didn't have a date. This I is not the, the important. You, you have a device. I don't think it was January 3rd. It was really early January. Really? I don't think it was within the, the Within the first week, I'm pretty sure. Oh, well, it could be. I wonder who we're going to drone strike this week. All right, so they killed the um, Iranian military leader, and I can't say this guy's name, Qasem Soleimani. January 3rd. There, was it really? You just walk around with that knowledge. Just memorized it. Listen, January 4th is my birthday, so that yeah. means January 3rd, I'm not paying attention. I'm preparing for January 4th, the How greatest day like on the earth. day before your birthday, someone got bombed. Yeah, I mean that's oh my God. that's not my problem. Looks <laughs> I'm like planning on how much is November or sorry September twelfth. Yeah, Somebody, somebody's birthday is. That's horrible. Somebody's birthday probably is. hundreds of people's birthday. Uh, international news. Somebody's I already read this. Birthday is nine eleven. Yeah, that's a crappy birthday, right? It really is. Um, thereby, the, so they killed this guy. Thereby triggering World War Three and forcing the United States to reinstate the military draft. At least on Twitter, it didn't actually happen. But on Twitter, that was what everybody was saying. Iran responds. This is a good indicator of what kind of year it will be by shooting down a Ukrainian airliner. They shot down an airplane. Elsewhere abroad, Chinese news media reports that a man in a city named Wuhan died of a mysterious virus. This is not considered a big deal in the United States since it has nothing to do with either impeachment or the Iowa caucus. Sounds like you're playing Plague Inc. You ever played that? I have played that. Does kind of sound like he's playing that. I've played that. Um, a much bigger international story concerns Prince Harry and Meghan, Duchess, 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 Duchess of Sussex. The Duchess of Sussex. Uh, who they announced... They divorce or something? No. They announced via Instagram they were sick and tired of being part of oh, the yeah. British royal family and want to just be regular, normal, everyday working folks making millions of dollars solely because one of them was born into and the other one married into the British royal family. This plunges Great Britain into a crisis, the likes of which has not been plunged into since Brexit. The crisis finally ended when, when after a royal summit with Queen Elizabeth II. Described by participants as frank and heartfelt, Harry and Meghan are beheaded. But they're not. They didn't actually get beheaded. Don't you love this guy? This, this, the Barry yeah. is the best, man. Uh, 
In sports, Major League Baseball is rocked by scandal with the release of a report including the Houston Astros, including that the Houston Astros engaged in an elaborate multi-year cheating scheme, which critics charge enabled the team to win the 2017 World Series, as well as six congressional seats in the 20, 2018 midterm elections. What does that mean? It, it, that's made up. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Those two I'm things aren't, say, aren't related. What? Never heard of that. Uh, by way of punishment, the league, sending a clear message to would-be cheaters, rules that all players involved in the scheme would continue to play baseball in exchange for enormous amounts of money. Hmm. So nothing happened. Yeah. You cheated. Ah, here's some money. money. Play some baseball. Speaking of scandal, in February, Washington and its suburbs remain gripped by the U.S. Senate's historic impeachment trial of tre- President Trump with Democratic prosecutors arguing that Trump illegally pressured Ukrainian leaders to benefit himself politically. While the Republican defense team employing an alibi strategy claims that Trump was playing golf at the time, which I still find quite fucking baller. Uh, That couldn't have been me. I was golfing. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) What? Oh, my God. Um, Under the watchful eye of Chief, Chief Justice John Robert Jr., who is kept from nodding off by a law clerk armed with a pellet gun. Everyone in accordance with Senate rules repeats everything 127 times, after which the Republican majority, to the surprise of anyone who has the IQ of a sponge cake, acquits the Republican president. Washington and its suburbs immediately start looking around for a new historic thing to be gripped by. So January, impeachment, February, it's already over. Nobody cares. Yeah, February is kind of... The Astros cheated, which did hurt my soul. But fuck it. Wait, how did they cheat? Uh, I think I don't there think was they really cheated. there was some kind. I don't remember the whole s- array of spectrum of things that they said they did. I think they were like videos. They were like using video cameras to like see the other the signs of the other players before they stole bases and shit. I guess I don't know. That's okay. Um, in the midst of the impeachment drama, and this is this is probably my favorite thing that happened. Now, pro- now I'm not a Trump fan. Well, in the political sense. You mean a trumpet? I'm not a trumpet. Trumpet. However, however, in the sense of enjoying that someone's making an ass of themselves to an nth degree, man, I love that dude. He does shit all the time that I'm just like... like the dumbest motherfucker. He does stuff that I'm just like, what? And so we'll get into it here. Um, Trump delivers (laughs) the State of the Union address. An awkward affair. That begins with Speaker Pelosi refusing to use the traditional high privilege and distinct honor induction. Then Trump refusing to shake Pelosi's hand. Then Pelosi tearing up a copy of Trump's speech. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do you remember when she did that? No. She took his speech. She took his speech and she tore it up on TV. It's kind of fucked. It's (laughs) so ridiculous. I mean, he's done some baller shit like signing stimulus checks and, you know, holding up things. The debate. And, you know, just yeah, the debate, the debate everything. But crazy. Pelosi tearing it up, oh, she became my favorite person. That was just like, you got to have some cojones. Didn't to, uh, someone sit at her desk, right? Like oh, yeah, the, during when the, during the uh, the uh, storming of the Capitol. Yeah, yeah. Some, somebody, they, they arrested that guy. They oh, really? Him. Yeah, they caught him and arrested him. Hmm. Um, so let's see where we were. Uh, mm. Oh, so are you ready? So then Trump hawked a loogie into Pelosi's suede pumps. Okay, the loogie part did not happen as far oh, as we I'd know. I'd say that'd be. <laughs> but I mean, if you could rip up the president's speech, I feel yeah. like the president oh, spitting in your shoe. But that's probable. It could happen. Imagine I walking. Go, why shoe? Like out of all the things she you wears, done, she's she's known for person? her for yeah for her like fashion. Even though I've seen some of the stuff she wear says she's worn, and I've been like, huh. She just looks like an attorney to me. She looks like an attorney, but from another planet. She's not a very... She, well, I'll give her this. I'll give her this. She's a handsome woman. She looks like a dude. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> In other political news, back to Iowa. Iowa Democratic Party officials sense that there may be a problem with their new app when it declares that the winner of the state's caucuses with 43 million delegates is Walter Mondale, followed by the Houston Astros, who also won the Super Bowl. This fiasco... Wait, wait hold on. <laughs> You're not down with that? No. This is the app, the Boeing app, remember? <laughs> the app I don't that, think the Astros the can win app, the Super Bowl. The app that crashed the planes can't be wrong, Duracell. The I'm app. sorry, I'm sorry. No, the app can't be wrong. This fiasco does not sit well with the Democratic presidential candidate who realizes they have wasted an entire year trudging around Iowa, eating fried objects on sticks and pretending to care about Iowans. And Iowans is a strange word to me. Iowans. Is that like, what is that? People that live in Iowa? Yeah, you, you got there. I'm so proud of you. 
It's amazing. It's like so close to Hawaiians. It's insane. Iowans and Hawaiians. Iowans. It's not that far off. It's like a Hawaiian. Simple though. I mean, what would you? How would you make it simpler? I don't know. Just call them something different. I'm from people Ohio. from Iowa. Yeah. Why, why does it have to be Iowans? It sounds like a species of alien. Well, it kind of is. From Star Trek. Have you been to Iowa? There's nothing but corn there. I thought that was a potato uh, state. Maybe it is. Either way. Stuff that grows out of the ground. I don't know. I think it's a corn state. I'm pretty sure it's corn. Well, wait. Then what state's the potato state? Potatoes. I, n- I don't I know. There is a potato. Now there state. is a potato state. There is. It might be Iowa. So one that so shaped Google like a leg. It's like you don't have a Google in your hand. Potatoes. I don't have a Google in my. You hand. got a Google. You're holding your Google right now. That's disgusting, by the way. I'm holding a Target gift card for fifty dollars. Well, <laughs> you just produced that out of nowhere. <laughs> Well, there's a museum in Idaho. Idaho so oh, Idaho, Idaho. That's the potato state. I always forget. You Idaho. the what? Idaho. If you're not sure, Alaska. Idaho's like the one state I forget. Yeah. Jesus. That's the one, one state. You, one you, of these You states. forgot it now, by the yeah, way. Yeah, I know. Well, I can't give you. I mean, I forgot it too, so I can't give you shit. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, should we skip ahead to March? There's a, or, or actually March. Oh, we're already in March. No, that was all February. So that much didn't happen in February. Yeah. I'm not even done, dude. I'm skipping over three more uh, paragraphs of february oh i know COVID um, started in march can't wait till we get to november well here let, let me read let me read a little bit of of the because it does it, it does get into the debates a little bit right um so we talk about mike bloomberg did you guys remember when mike bloomberg were, was going to be a president so yeah. uh he uses his personal fortune to hire a vast army of constituents to supply him with a powerful arsenal of focus group tested policies retorts memes jokes and humanoid personality traits because he doesn't have those nevertheless he struggles within the debates in the low point coming with Elizabeth Warren turning during a heated exchange about a non-disclosure agreement pulls the waistband of Bloomberg's underpants over the top of his head a debate tactic known as the atomic wedgie first performed by Lincoln on Douglas in 1858 can we back that up <laughs> sure is that, is that actually hold on let me ask the fact checker fact checker she's shaking her head it's a fact I can go find it <laughs> Uh, despite all the exciting political developments, the number one concern of the American public, based on the amount of passionate debate it generates on the internet, is burning issue of whether or not it is okay to recline on your airplane, your airplane seat. Oh my God. I people fucking hate those Do you people. remember that? Yeah. Do you remember when that was yes. a big deal? Yeah, yeah. It, it's still a fucking big deal. I, okay, I'm sorry. If you recline on an airport, on an airplane, it's just so insensitive and rude. It's like a real issue about this, don't you? And here's the thing. It, I know Coach like, travels a lot I can't and, say uh, anything about it, about this. but... You're like it's also awkward for the person that's getting happened to. I have, you're sitting I, there and you're like, if I put my seat back, then the person behind me is also uncomfortable, and it's just like starting a chain reaction of just bullshit. I if, can honestly tell you, on all the planes I've ever been on, I've never even noticed when the person in front of me put their chair back. Really, I've never noticed. No one's it. ever done it to me. Well, I'm I'm a big guy, so I always like fucker. You know, <laughs> like <laughs> he's like, hey, fucker. It's seen it happen to other people, but it's never happened to me. All right, March and April. I'm just on. saying, plane airplanes, if they just Skip the seat, like not always holding that much people on them. It just skipped one row of seats every single time they did a row. That'd be better, in my opinion. But then they won't be able. Well, to they, make they, up do you know how money. you know how they make the money, right? You know what you know what you're actually buying when you buy an airplane seat. No, you're no. paying for the gas of the airplane, and if they uh, don't have enough people, they can't buy the gas. So the cost of gas somewhat dictates the price you pay for an airline ticket. But then again, then I might as well, and that's why people buy multiple seats. Then right. Well, Sometimes there's the case. And I'll just buy the seat in front of me and behind me. Well, yeah, if you got money to burn, Mister. <laughs> but uh, a lot of times uh, there is. I have heard of this. If you're too fat for the seat, like uh-huh. if the seat belt won't buckle, they make you buy another seat. Damn, yeah. that's really? gonna suck. March like and April, like a six hundred pound person. I mean, uh, d- d- some three hundred fifty. Just depends on how you're built. Like if you can't get that seat belt over for like whatever you have a wider reason. Chest yeah, like, like it a, just whatever reason. Huh. If that won't go over, they're like, if they can't do it. They don't just say, okay, let's take off anyway. You don't need your seatbelt. They're like, you have to. What they do is they make you buy a seat next to you. They move that person, and then they connect the seatbelts. Mm. So you have two seats. Wow. Nice. March and April, we're going to call Marple. Marple? We're just going to say it's one thing. I like Arch. Arch? Yeah. March and April. Could, and a comes but Arch is M. like March without an M. Marple is definitely like, what? What do you Mar- March and April together? Arch is just. Marple. Marple, it's just putting Marple an M at the syrup. front of April. I love me some Marple syrup. The fuck it is just putting an M at the front of April. That's true. It's one way or the other. All right, well, let's do Marple. Ready? Starts off calmly enough. And I remember in Marple thinking, oh, I guess that's all over with. Like the whole, 
impeachment. And I remember thinking, I remember having a sense of, ah, maybe the rest of the year will be normal. I do remember thinking that. Wait, didn't Kobe die in January? Kobe is not mentioned in this article. Wow. And I think it's because mostly this is a political take on things, but I did, I did notice. So we will, we will take a moment for Kobe Bryant. I did that for Kobe. January 26th. It was January. Yeah, January. It's odd that I couldn't tell you when Iran was bombed, but I know the date of Kobe Bryant's death. And I don't even like ba- basketball that Well, much. and I do like basketball. I have a, a scar on my leg from when the Rockets won the World Series or the champion World Championship. Wait, were you in a bar or something? Got in a bar fight? No. Um, I was in the back of a truck, and I jumped out of the light to run and high-five down through all the other cars. And when I went to go get back in the back of my truck, the driver took off, uh-huh. which is fine because that doesn't heat the opposite direction of me, right? Yeah. As he drove off, though, he heard me screaming, stop. So he did, but I didn't. And I just ran to my own truck and flipped over into the bed and mm. cut my leg. That's awesome. And and I didn't know I was bleeding. So I went home, got into bed, passed out, bled all night long. My mom came in because I was like, mm, I was like 19. I was there for the week because it was in Houston. I didn't live in Houston at the time. So I went to Houston where my parents live. Yeah. My mom woke me up. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Adam's been shot. And there, there was the blood soaked the mattress. Like, I bled so much. And I woke up. No, I'm not shot. <laughs> I'm totally fine. Wow. Um, so, Marple starts off calmly enough as a Democratic Party, desperate to find an alternative to the 132-year-old white guy, Bernie Sanders, settles on 132-year-old white guy, Joe Biden who cruises to a series of primary victories after replacing no malarkey with a bold new campaign slogan, somewhat alert at times. Biden is endorsed by most of his Democratic opponents, including Mike Bloomberg, who spent more than $500 million on his campaign, which seems like a lot of money until you understand that he won the American Samoa caucus, narrowly edging out Tulsi Gabbard, who spent thirteen fifty. Wait, so he spent a lot of money and didn't win? Correct. <laughs> so what did he gain? Nothing. He didn't get he money thought back. he could he thought he could win. He thought he could win. He didn't get any money it's back. It's like, you know, nothing. he yeah, no, you don't get the money back. Can I get the money back? I I know, but like he didn't I don't know. I don't know how that stuff works really. No, that's how it works. He doesn't get the money back. He's just fucked and he's done. Wow. So he's forever in debt. No, he's Bloomberg. Million. He's a billionaire. He was like, he spent his lunch money on this thing. <laughs> I can't remember who Mike Bloomberg is for the life of me. Like, I remember like that's even in funnier. the moment. Like, he thought he, he could was. win your vote. And you're like, I don't know. Oh, like, I mean, if he would have won my vote, but like now like, thinking about it, like at this moment in time, I still have no idea. who. Like, he did he vote for governor? Did he go for president? president? Yeah. He went for president? He, he was very popular. Is he, wasn't he, was he gay? No, he's not gay. Well, I don't think he's gay. Has there been a gay president? <laughs> no, there was a gay guy running for president. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that guy. Oh, my God. His name is a, like Skolaski or something. He's got like a weird name, but I love him. That guy's cool as shit. Mike, his first name's Mike. Are you going to type in gay presidential candidate coach? Please, God, tell me that's what you're typing no, in. No, I typed gay. in gay Mike Bloomberg. Get, you can't, Mike Bloomberg is not gay. Well, then who was it? <laughs> a different Mike. I think his name is Mike. It's not, well, maybe I'm thinking of Mike Polanski or Pulowski. Is it is is Pulowski the guy from um, Mike Wazowski? Wazowski. Maybe I'm thinking of Mike Wazowski. Pete Buttigetti. Pete, that's his name. Buttigieg. Buttigieg. Yeah, it like a cheese. Yeah, he's great. I like that guy. I'd have voted for him if he had run. Pete I thought Budichetti. he was president. No, he, what do you mean you thought he was president? Like he, yeah. like he went for fuck? like he got. Into he the did. Final ranks. No, he didn't. Oh. People that got to the final Joe Biden. And I really Trump. liked him. I, I he's he's still. Um, don't get smart with sh- me. I'm not sure what he's doing now, but he's on TV every now and then. I think he's the governor of somebody. Governor yeah, of like every state. time he speaks, it sounds great. I'm like, yeah, that guy's cool. Um, there was a lot of people you heard about, and then they just disappeared. Well, that's how it always works. People I run. Know, but what's that? What's that guy's name? Uh, uh, Ranford, Texas uh, mayor, or whatever. Ranford, Texas mayor. Not mayor, but <laughs> governor. Governor, or something like that. I don't know. I don't know who you're talking about. So never the heard. B. A B? Thomas J. Henry? What? No. That's a, that's a law attorney. <laughs> law attorney. Attorney's <laughs> a law. I don't know why it's, that popped It's, uh, it's really going to bother me. Scott Elder here. He's the dealer for the people. <laughs> it was Ellison Salazar? No. It oh, w- I've got a dime and you've got a time and you can come down here and rhyme. Was it Ted Lorenz? At Lorenzo Lorenz? Oh. No. Okay. So who's the guy? It's Ted Wayne's Cruz. and Wayne's. What is Ted Cruz right now in Texas? A senator. That's, he ran for senator in Texas. Okay. And he was really close and then Ted Cruz won. No, Ted Cruz lost to uh, the girl that was the no. veteran. This 2020. 
Yeah, no. They he, ran for governor. Right. Ted Cruz. Oh, ran for governor? Whatever. I don't know what's going on anymore. <laughs> All right, give me like. It's really gonna bother me. What are you trying to talk about? I don't about? know. It's, hold on. It's really gonna bother uh, me. Oh, what is that girl's name? It's Mary? not a girl. It's a guy. No, but Ted Cruz lost to a girl. I think. No, that's Cornyn. I don't know either. Now you've confused me. Oh my god. What is that woman's name? Control. I really liked her too. President. Mary. Something? I'm not talking about a woman. Who did Ted Cruz lose to? Um, he didn't lose to her. I mean, win, win to. Who did he win to? Who did he beat? Uh, presidential. There's not no president. Idea. There's no president. But he ran for president and then he dropped out. The guy who you're thinking of? Yes. And then ended up running later against Ted Cruz? No, but he ran against Ted Cruz before okay. that some, for something in Texas. Okay. But I don't know <laughs> what it was for. I think he ran to get my tacos. <laughs> um, okay, you ready? If I find out he's Mexican, it's going to be really funny. Okay, so it was it was April when we started. Beto O'Rourke. Is that you're talking about? Beto O'Rourke. Well, that, yeah, maybe it is Beto. I think yeah, you are. Beto. Yeah, Beto. 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 Yeah. What did you say? Beto O'Rourke. Beto was good, and he. You're right. You are right. He Beto. did. Ted Cruz did beat him. I don't know. I forgot about. Oh, I just pulled my headphones off. I yeah, wasn't he going to run for president? Yeah. And what happened to him? Um, I don't know. There was a bunch of controversy about him doing something. He was skateboarding in a parking lot. I don't know. People just decided they didn't oh. like him for some reason. Um. All right. What's he doing nowadays? That's a good question. Are you going to look it up, or are you just going to ask the? Just leave it out there. Just dangle it like a lotus. Uh, Dangle. he's six four. My Who, God, Beto? He's tall. Yeah, Roberto. For some reason, I thought it was Joe Beto. I don't know why. Yeah. I didn't know his first name was Beto. Anyway, in April, we begin to see reports that this coronavirus might be worse than we have been led to believe. Although at first, the authorities still seem to be saying that it's basically the flu. There's no reason to panic. But all of a sudden, there seems to be a no hand sanitizer for sale anywhere, which makes some sense. Although there is no toilet paper. As if people are planning to be pooping for weeks on end. And then we learn that Tom Hanks, Tom Hanks Got has the virus. It. And now they're saying it's a lot worse than the flu. And we need to wash our hands and not touch our faces and maintain a social distance of six feet and use an abundance of caution to flatten the curve, whatever the curve is. But they're also saying we don't need face masks. No scratch. No scratch that. Now they're saying we do need face masks, but nobody has face masks. And hey, here's a funny name about toilet meme about toilet paper. But oh my god, look at the statistical disease models. We are all going to die. Everyone did think that. But Trump says, uh, no, don't worry about it. This uh, hydroxy something medicine will work on it. No, no reason to worry about it. Uh, wait, no, it won't work. Wait, yes, it will. And now they're saying there won't be enough uh, ventilators in hospital beds or PPE. And Dr. Fauci and Dr. Bricks are saying everybody has to shelter at home and we are all definitely going to die. Do you remember that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I definitely remember that. I remember standing in line in front of Costco for Costco to open. And then they come down, they'd count, and I got, I got in every time. But they'd uh -huh. come down the line, they'd go 140, 141. Sir, you can get in line, but there won't be any toilet paper when you get in there. And the guy would be like, yeah, I'm only here for toilet paper, Bob. And he'd go off to his car. It was a really crazy situation. I remember going to yeah, Walmart. I remember Costco and seeing, like, started nothing. changing their hours too. Like they would. Only Everybody open did. At, yeah, Everybody they, did. They would only open at ten, and then they would like close at like six or something. like but that. But the weird thing is, if you got in line to, for an opening at ten, and you were in line by like nine thirty, they'd open at nine thirty, let everybody in anyway. Yeah. A couple of times I went and got in bed and got in bed, got in line at nine. Yeah. And I was like fourth at nine fifteen. They go like, just come out in. Hmm. Really strange. Yeah, toilet paper was really low at those times didn't we also really find that a uh, cookie company this year or last year didn't we already didn't we already what didn't we find that cookie company find it what like we discovered it i guess i don't think that's international news oh my bad then <laughs> what cookie company the one with the 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 like really gourmet cookies that were like 15. oh that would deliver to you yeah what is the name of that company crust crust no crumble crumble yeah crumble without the well their their business must have skyrocketed Oh yeah, people must have just been because I yeah that, I remember the line being up. The yeah, door. there was a line at that at that door like ridiculous. They were really good. Yeah, they're okay. What are you um, talking about? I thought anyway. you were saying that uh, place where we got the. Um, My God, you got a lot of ways to go. Anyway, what what place? Where we get all the cool snacks and stuff? I thought that's what he's talking about. Cool snacks? Do you talk about H E B? No, I'm not talking about fucking H E B. I'm talking about where we get the international snacks. Oh, Desert the Dreams. Yes, oh, place. oh, Desert oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, no, but we, that was 2020 though. We did discover that place in 2020. Yeah. We started, our we started this podcast in 2020. 2020. What a great time to start a podcast. 
All right, so there's no um, toilet paper. We do need face masks. Nobody has them. Nobody's out of toilet paper. We're all going to die. Trump says it's not a big deal, but we are gonna, We are definitely going to die. Here's another meme, meme about toilet paper, but seriously, what is PPE and why is it different from PPP? And will, there, will we get ventilators and will there be enough hospital beds? And we just didn't know what the fuck. Do you remember that? Yeah, we really didn't. We didn't know what was going to happen. We, and what's the deal with toilet paper? What what was that? Yeah, I don't know. Didn't they say like you were gonna just everyone's gonna start pooping if they got it? I don't know, I can't talk right now. I have to go to a Zoom meeting. Remember then all of a sudden Zoom meetings. Everyone's yeah. like, Oh, you get work from home and businesses started closing down. It was ridiculous. People thought maybe I'll just go take a peek at my four one K. Oh no, what are people doing with all this toilet paper? That was all that we talked about through March and April. Toilet paper, toilet, toilet, paper, paper, toilet, paper. toilet paper, toilet paper, toilet paper. Toilet paper, toilet paper. And every time there was a model on the spread of the virus. Uh -huh. We would read it and we'd say, we're going to die. But people would tell us, no, you're not going to die. Right? So do we really want to go in living where there's no, in the world, where there's no toilet paper and every single TV commercial sounds like, as we navigate these difficult times together, the National Association of Folding Chair Manufacturers wants you to know that we are committed to running these TV commercials with a somber narrative voice, letting you know how concerned we are that no one's going to die. Do you remember those commercials started coming out? We at Volvo want you to know we think <laughs> highly of you, and we'd love to like keep. Those, um, do you remember them? They were like commercials. Where all the like, commercials were coming yeah. on, right? Like yeah. it's just like every five minutes. Here at at uh, Farmers, we take insurance really seriously. Make and sure you don't die from COVID don't die from COVID. But if you do, we've got you covered. It was a ridic ridiculous thing. Um, May, June. I'm gonna be completely honest. I don't really remember anything in May. Well, May was a blur. May yeah, was a blur. It really was. Me. Yeah. Like the summer well, here era. we are as a nation, exhausted. We are literally sick and tired of the pandemic, but amid all the gloom, there is a ray of sunshine. As we go through this harrowing experience affecting all Americans in both red and blue states, we're starting to realize that our common humanity is more important than our political differences. Hmm. <laughs> that shit didn't happen. People were trying to kill each other. Uh, we hate each other more than ever. Oh we my disagree God. about is everything. Is that when the Black Lives Matter thing started? Mm, might have been May. I don't think it was May. I think they were oh, July. Oh, that was way later. Or June. Like June I was going to say that's really that bad Floyd, that Floyd that. was in June, I think. I think. Um, anyway, yeah. Uh, we want to reopen the economy, whether to wear masks or not, whether to go to the beach, whether it's okay. Oh, shit, no. George Floyd was in May. Was it May? Well, May we'll get 20th. to it. We'll get to it then. Wow. Or was it the end of May? 25th. 25th, yeah. Um, we disagree about everything. Should we go to the beach? Is it okay to say China? Remember when, remember when you China. said China? People were like, you can't say China. You remember that? It, the people call it the China, China the disease. Wuhan flu, China the, disease. the China disease. And people were like, you can't say that. I'm like, can't say what? China or disease? Like, what is so offensive? Say China. Um, China. Each side believes it is motivated purely by reason, facts, and compassion, and that the other side is evil and stupid and sincerely wants people to die. Every issue is binary. My side's good, your side's bad. There is no nuance, no open-mindedness, no discussion. On the other hand, there is starting to be more toilet paper. There is indeed. In May, we had more toilet paper. Trump continues to provide leadership during the crisis by repeatedly pointing out that he knows an incredible amount about the virus, more than most medical doctors, and is frankly doing a terrific job. For its part, the White House press corps, seeking as always to be fair and objective, asked the president many probing questions, all of them variations of, why are you so despicable? Despicable. Remember he used to have the, well, you guys, I don't know if you guys remember this or not, but I was really into it. Around noon, one central time, he would have press conferences like every day. And he would have that little, it was spicy. What was that guy's name? His little, his little spicy. Yeah. They called him spicy. Oh, what was his last name? I'm sure he's in here somewhere. No idea who you're talking about. Yeah. I didn't know there was press conference. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you know what I'm oh. talking about. Spicy. He hid in the bushes. Oh. Remember he yeah. hid in the bushes? They, yeah. They, they, were yeah. Giving, yeah. they were giving a press conference, and he they were going to question him afterwards. So he went outside, hid outside the White House in the bushes so that the news reports couldn't find him for more questions. I, I know what you're talking about now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Saturday Night Live made hundreds of jokes about this guy, because that's funny. Saturday Night Live probably had one of their best years. Oh, yeah. They were on they fire. They were on fire. They were yeah. on fire. Um, somewhere in here, the president goes on Twitter to suggest without evidence that MSNBC anchor Joe Scarborough committed murder. Wow. <laughs> wow. Just straight up. Yeah. But we have reached the point where this falls into the category of ho-hum. We don't give a fuck anymore. We're like, there's more important things. Toilet paper for one. 
Meanwhile, in the basement somewhere in Delaware, Delaware, Joe Biden and his campaign team have managed to produce a webcam, which they intend to use to log out, log on to the internet so that Joe's campaign message can go viral just as soon as Joe decides what it is. <clears throat> in scandal news, the, Ju- the Justice Department moves to drop all charges against former Trump National Security Advisor Michael Flynn. Outraged Democrats claim this is a travesty of justice. Outraged Republicans claim it is proof that he is a deep that the blah, blah, blah. claim it is proof that the deep state tried to stage a coup, which is funny because that's what everyone's saying now about the Washington Capitol thing was a coup. Yeah, everybody has in 2020 and a little bit in 2021. We like to say you're 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 involved in a coup. You want to do a coup later? Maybe we should do a coup. <laughs> you guys want to get together for a good cooing? Oh yeah, I love cooing. Um, so now we're back to arguing about the 2016 elections, which, which we are going to keep arguing about until everybody involved goes deaf for 50 years. Hmm. Uh, in sports, Major League Baseball tries to come up with a plan to salvage the 2020 season, a task that becomes more urgent each day. The Houston Astros have already won 137 games, all of them no hitters. The National Football League is also trying to adapt, adapt to the pandemic, exploring the possibility of a season with no fans, no coaches, no players. We're thinking of just showing 60 minutes of referees throwing penalty flags and peering in at replay monitors, says NFL Commissioner Roger Goodall. So it really, really won't be much different. <laughs> yeah. Not different at all. Uh, the National Hockey League admits that it stopped playing games in 2003 and nobody noticed. <laughs> anybody really watch hockey? Like, I know there's some I have a, fans, I have a friend but... that's a huge hockey fan. Yeah? Huge. Is he dead? Is uh, he made up? Is he in this room with us right now? No, he actually lives down the street from us. Serve it. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. You don't know him? Are you talking about Canadians? I mean, he is Canadian. That figures. <laughs> um, here we should mention the arrival of the Asian murder hornets. In any other year, they were just Asians got us twice. <laughs> 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 In any other year, there would have been this would have they would have been a huge story, comparable to famous celebrity pests of the past, such as the killer bees. Or the cast of Jersey Shore. But in 2020, there was simply too much competition and the murder hornets end up living in a cheap motel near the Canadian border and their dreams of fame are shattered. It was like one day that they were talked about and that's it. But goddamn, didn't that one day you think we're going to die by murder hornet? I you're really like, they're did. coming in hot. Everybody, like, don't go outside. I remember people saying, did you see one? Have you?" People ask me, have you ever seen one? Have you seen one? I think to this day, I hit one with my car because I found a dead hornet in my car the size of a quarter. Yeah. But then somebody else said they're bigger than that. So I still don't know if I actually, I might have murdered a murder, murder hornet. hornet. Could be. It's possible. It's a pretty good achievement. Um, so then we've got the George Floyd thing. Oh. Really pissed us off. Mm-hmm. In fact, we didn't do a podcast after that. I don't know if you guys know, but... Oh, yeah, we did the Martin Luther King played, speech. Yeah, right? I played his speech because I'm yeah. like, fuck this. And, and it just became polarizing on a level that I didn't anticipate. How you could watch that video and not have the opinion that that's fucked up is beyond me. But people did. People defended it. There's one thing that really sucks is the kids that like got to see it on social media. Yeah. Like, oh, like the, when it was all trending oh, yeah, and everything. Went, yeah, it went out. It was yeah. like that video. Yeah, it was hardcore. Uh, it ignited uh, his death, George's death, uh, which I'm going to call a murder. I'm calling yeah. it a murder. Oh, that's a murder for murder, sure. Yeah. Murder. Um, he died at the hands of police. It incited, ignites, I'm sorry, ignited a protest movement that quickly spread across the nation. And that went on for months. And I'm proud of that. I'm proud that people, Americans tend to have very short term memories when it comes to let's march and we'll do it once. Let's yeah. march annually, right? Let's march this weekend for an hour. This George Floyd for a while went on and on. And I was, I was remember thinking like, it's horrible that we had to die or that he had to die so that we could have this one commonality. But then I find out that I don't have that commonality with everybody. Right? Like, I look over and I have neighbors, friends, family members who are like, nope. And it even led to other conversations about, like, um, statues, right? Statues of... A lot of statues got torn down, right? Yeah, and people, and people were saying, well, no, leave the statues up. And I, and I would ask them, well, what are we celebrating with that statue? Are we celebrating... Well, those people fought hard. Like, they fought hard for slavery. And they fought hard for, for the wrong reasons. And they lost. And they're not... You don't see statues of Southern leaders in the North... Right, I don't know. It's a weird. It was a really weird time. I had a lot of weirdly weird, uncomfortable conversations with my family. I didn't care for it. Yeah. Well, there's one thing. Like I know, 
Didn't they try to like tear down the Abraham Lincoln monument? I feel like somebody did try to vandalize it. Yeah, there was vandalism. And that's kind of that I don't really agree with, but I see why. It's a whole the whole thing was like it made you kind of look at America and go, you know, we're not that old of a country compared to like I don't know England, England, right? Yeah, or any like China, right? Like they've been around forever. The youngest, right? Yeah, I think we are. We're one of the youngest. We're youngest. Um, but yeah, it's it's just that George Floyd thing would put the brakes on everything else and made me say, well, because it was it, what mean, the fuck, yeah. yeah. And then like the whole thing was you can get behind it because it was explaining not only did we like that happens because that does happen and it probably happens not as you know often as it thinks, but it happens a lot. It happens a lot, a and lot. that was the first time we actually got on camera and it fled across the nation. It now, actually, you was know like, what the deal was with that because it had been captured before on camera. Yeah. But no one really but, cared. Well, no. he, well, people cared, but the thing about this was he cried for his mom. It was evident to anybody with half a brain cell, they should have just taken their knee off his neck. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe he didn't need to be arrested, but you don't have to pin him down like that, right? And that seems like a common, like, you, you watch that, you're like, oh, take your knee off his neck. Restrain him in some other way. But they didn't. And the thing that divided us was that half the room said, what I just said, take your knee off his neck. You don't have to murder him. The other half of the room said he had it coming. That's okay that that happened. Which, that's fucking not really okay. Not that's okay. not okay. And the fact that you think that, you're so disconnected from what my core values are, I don't even understand how to move forward. Yeah. So, anyway. June, the protest movement grows in size and passion and frankly, not a whole lot of social distancing. In Washington, D.C., large crowds gather in front of the White House. President Trump, angered by reports that one, at, angered by reports that at one point he reacted to an underground bunker, retreated to an underground bunker, states that in fact he was merely inspecting the bunker. This being irresponsibly, explicitly assigned to the president of the by the Constitution, right after where it says he's in charge of foreign policy, which it's not. He doesn't have to inspect the bunker. Um, to Crazy demonstrate, went to a bunker, though. oh yeah, the dude thought he was something was going down. Yeah, to demonstrate that he is not the kind of leader who hides in bunkers, the president courageously goes outside. Remember this? He went outside. Uh, he personally walks several hundred feet to the historic St. John's Church, where he holds up a oh, Bible. Yeah, yeah, or oh. possibly, and um, this is true. People thought, is it a Bible? It could have also been a thesaurus. There was actually, and then, we'll never know. He claimed a Bible, but people have zoomed in, tried to look at it through yeah. camera. Like, is that actually even a Bible? Um, the important thing is that it's an important looking book and a strong visual and at, and a time when what this wounded and divided nation needed more than ever is a strong visual. We just fucking had a strong visual, Mm -hmm. right? We don't need to, I I won't forget that him walking across that courtyard and holding up the fucking book. Uh, anyway, we'll skip ahead a little bit here. Let's go. Let's go see what July looks like. All right. Okay. COVID-19 cases continue to rise sharply in some southern states, accompanied by what World Health Organization described as an alarming spike in smugness in the northern states. Do you remember that? Smugness, yeah. yeah. People were like, oh, down the south, they got the COVID. They got, the they COVID. got that COVID, ain't stupid southerners. Um, let's see. Como, New York um, governor, unveils a poster for sale for 1150, commemorating in a cartoony manner you know, New York's pandemic experience. That's fucking true. Which is insane. Yeah, it really is uh, as if the White Star Line sold whimsical souvenirs of the Titanic. That's the that's what it's like. It's, it's, it, well, it goes back to Pelosi started off with her historic pins. Oh, you sign this? You get to pins. keep the pin. It's so stupid. It is really dumb. Yeah. On July 4th, despite all the bad news and gloomy outlook, Americans paused to celebrate the independence of their nation by reducing entire neighborhoods to smoking rubble with illegal fireworks, which always cracks me up. In a decision that outrages Democrats, President Trump commutes the federal prison sentence of his longtime friend and political operative Roger Stone. The White House, the White House state, sorry, the White House states that Imprisoning the 67-year-old Stone would be inhumane because he has a medical condition that requires him to roam free at night, seeking fresh human blood. Hmm. Why not? (laughs) Coach is so used to the writing now. Coach is like, yeah, that makes sense. Um, Kanye West announces that he's running for president. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's going to be representing the birthday party. Got a couple thousand votes, you know. Come on, that was funny. (laughs) He did. Did he really get a couple thousand votes? So stupid. 
Um, in any other year, this would have been ridiculous, but literally, America said, eh, why not? Kanye. Kanye. Uh, in other political news, the we coronavirus. We though, from a long time Oh, ago. no, we did. We actually talked about it. I, we might have talked about it on the podcast. No, I'm talking about, like, I knew about, like, you when, you did Duracell bring it yeah. up. You've been talking about he Kanye's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. Um, but we did talk like about four it. Years we ago, did talk. I think early podcast we talked we about too. Kanye running. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's it. We're basically done. We've called. We we forecast uh, predicted Kanye. We can quit our jobs and yeah, move we're, to we're uh, billionaires. Yeah, we're yeah we paid <laughs> enough. We I we I created TikTok as far as anybody knows. We Where the fuck did TikTok, TikTok come from? By the way, all of a sudden there I was just TikTok. China was that twenty twenty two? Yeah, I remember when no, uh, Trump was, was trying there to TikTok in twenty nineteen. Yeah. Where the, where there was? Yeah. Okay. Uh, another political news. There used to be another app, and then they changed it. Oh. Yeah. The coronas, coronavirus continues to disrupt both major parties' convention plans. So they couldn't have their big conventions, although the Republicans wanted to have them anyway. On the diplomatic front, the Trump administration announces that after tense high-level negotiation, negotiations had reached a peace agreement with under which the U.S. troops will be withdrawn from Portland. Remember they were there because of George Floyd and yeah. there was the oh, whole, yeah, yeah, yeah. what did they call that? They called it the Oh my gosh, what did they call that? The it wasn't DMZ, but it was something like DMZ. Basically out, outside the law zone. Yeah, yeah. Um by far the month's most disturbing event occurs on July fifteenth when Twitter responding to a, tr- a cyber attack temporarily suspends Many verified blue check accounts within minutes. Emergency rooms in Washington and New York are overrun by media thought le- are overrun by media thought leaders whose brains are literally exploding from the pressure of unreleased insights. People couldn't use Twitter for a couple days and the fucking country freaked out. Oh, OK. Both of y'all's faces were like, what? Yeah, I was like, what's uh, what's going on? Dumb, here? Dumb it down for me a little bit. We're not big Twitter users, so I don't even remember that. Yeah, I don't what's remember Twitter? That Is that a tweeter? Tweeter, tweeter. Um, in sports, the Washington Redskins borrowing, bowing, sorry, to mounting public pressure announced they are changing their name to football team. Um, the Washington the, football they team. will henceforth be known as the Pittsburgh Redskins. No, not even a little funny. Neither I one mean, of you, it, you guys didn't even I smile. Can get, I can, I think it's okay. It's funny, but you know, not everyone's going to get that. Well, one guy will get it. And I love that guy. I love you, man. Whoever you are. And name Bob Bill Joe. Bill Bob Joe. In Major League Baseball, the teams the teams uh, begin a shortened season with stadium seats occupied by cardboard cutouts representing fans, except in the case of Houston Astros, who used live human snipers. <laughs> oh, <Jesus. laughs> All right, now we're in August. Oh my God, we're not even halfway through the year, right? No, no, that is. I've halfway. skipped ahead a lot. I'm skipping uh, around trying to January, pick, February, pick March, out the good stuff. May, June, July, August. Oh wait, yeah, September, November. Yeah, yeah December, we're almost like. to the end there, coach. Last three, um, the last three months are the best months. Speaking of TikTok and what Duracell just said, it was August when President Trump escalates his attack on TikTok, a Chinese-owned social media app that threatens our nation's security by causing millions of Americans to learn stupid dances with Chinese people while Chinese people are making useful products to sell to Americans. The president wants to force TikTok to be sold to Microsoft, apparently in the hope that Microsoft will render it unusable by means of updates. <laughs> like every other Microsoft product. Get it canceled right now. Canceled. Right now. Uh, meanwhile, at home, the nation's mood is increasingly tense and angry Americans are in, are bombarded all day, every day, with a constant stream of news about protests, boycotts, disruption, despair, and rage. And that's just on Sports Sports Center. People were so fucking pissed that they couldn't watch their football and their baseball and they admit that, you know, how are we going to have, you know, seasons of this and seasons of that? Um, California said, hold my beer to 2020 and caught fire. I know, really did. <laughs> Caught fire and California just burned. It just said August is our month, and but, they, we, but it was because of a uh, uh, what do you call it, a baby shower? Oh, that's right. They let it determine shower, yeah. a baby shower. Wait, what? Yeah, that's, they tried to do a stupid machine thing, and it caught fire. Some kind of it, thing caught fire, and it sparked, and it like yeah. just, just that's what started the fire. Like, some um, propane in the air or something. Just I don't think. Yeah, there was propane in the air. That's what it was. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's see. Where were we? I don't know. Fuck my ass. In politics, controversy swirls around the U.S. Postal Service, which was until now, most Americans have viewed as a non-sinister agency whose function, as authorized by the Constitution, is to faithfully, rain or shine, deliver vast quantities of bulk mail to us so we can discard it unread. I always throw away the mail that comes as like trash mail. I just throw it away. 
Well, I have like I didn't even know I had this system, but I had junk mail, like a folder of junk mail. Yeah. And so ever since I have my email, I actually just you've like, never looked in there. So I had like <laughs> a <laughs> million <laughs> things, like, I'm, years I'm, like, and years of junk. Mail. Not even like I swear to you, I, I had like a million things, and now like every time I look at my app, it's set, and I can't. It's so much when you do select all, it deletes like five hundred of them at a time. That well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's just that I, I, I refuse to open it. Oh my gosh. All right. Well then this kind of sets up this hatred of the mail sets up this whole like mail in voting thing. Like don't mail in your ballot. Cause they, and that went on all the way through the election. Yeah. Like you can't, the, the voting, the, the, the U S mail can't handle the, the volume. They're going to lose your vote. It became a whole ridiculous thing. Um, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. And then while this conspiracy is being debated, Steve Banyan, have you guys seen Steve Banyan? Google Steve Bannon. This guy looks like he came out of a horror movie, and how he is even famous, or is he like an actor or something? No, no, he was a political advisor. Well, before he was a political advisor for Trump, he ran like some conspiracy websites, I think. Uh, huh. Did you find his picture? Yeah. What's his name? Steve what? Bannon. Let me see the picture you got, Darcel. Yeah. Well, how, how does that guy? He looks he look, like he looks like he is eats children. Uh, that's actually great. Description. <laughs> I don't even know. I mean, he looks like a. It, I, I, I wouldn't trust like that guy for anything, but there he was in the White House. Um, look at this crazy dude. Yeah. So he. Oh my gosh! I clicked on the wrong thing. Um, Ew, he looks uh, like a snail. He, so here's the way they describe it. Here's the way Barry. Here's the way Barry described it. Steve Bannon, a former former influential Trump aide with the so uncanny weird. ability to always look like he just woke up in a dumpster, is arrested by. This cannot be a coincidence. Agents of the U.S. Postal Inspection Service. You can't make this shit up. Agents, huh? He's charged with fraud in connection with a GoFundMe project called We Build the Wall, which is supposedly raising money for Trump's largely imaginary wall between the United States and Mexico. I totally forgot about that. The wall. What the fuck? I'm going to build the wall. It's going to be best best wall ever. It's going to make Mexico pay for it all. Uh, Joe Biden, in in what month are we in now? We're in August, right? Joe Biden chose Uh, Kamala Harris. To be his uh, historical running mate, um, she would become the first U.S. vice president whose name can be rearranged to spell I alarm a shark. All right, then. <laughs> uh, during the Demo- Demo- Democratic debates, Harris leveled some harsh criticism on- at Biden, but a Biden campaign source says that Joe has forgotten all about it, literally. <laughs> all right, September. September. And this is all I'm going to talk about in September. And there's one lots thing. of stuff that happened in September. Okay. But one thing freaked me out. We lost RBG. Yeah, Ruth, Ruth Bader Ginsburg yep. died. And I was in September? Yeah. Oh, wow. And it just was like a whole... What? I felt like... I didn't know that I felt this way until she died. But when she died, I felt like, oh my gosh, she's holding the country together. Like, what are we going to do? And then Amy Connie Barrett gets her seat. And I thought that was going to go horribly. But so far, uh, Nothing bad. Judge Barrett has done okay. She hasn't done any crazy that I'm aware of, but yeah, I I didn't know I liked uh, RBG so much. I didn't know Until that I knew so died. much about her. But when she died, I, I had all these facts about her in my head. I, there was a movie that came out, kind of this, I think right before yeah. she died, that just happened to be coincidence. But yeah, I remember telling um, somebody that RBG thing. I I didn't know that I felt like she was the one that was keeping sense on the on the courts on the seat. Like yeah. so she was saying. Human rights matter. Human rights are this. We can't mistreat women. We can't. We can't just like take our laws over women's bodies. I just I, when she died, I was like, oh fuck! I didn't. I didn't expect to have that yeah. reaction. My wife cried. Also, didn't expect to have that reaction. Like she didn't. She was like, why am I so upset? I'm like, well, I, I think we kind of slept easier at night knowing she was there. Now that she's gone, it's kind of crazy. And what the fuck? Didn't expect it. It's like yeah. not having milk for a month. It's just like that, coach. Yeah, but like worse. Great. It is worse than that. All right, so October, because there's a lot in September, but I'm going to skip it because R- RGB gets my September. That was the thing that mattered the most to me. Okay. Um, White House announces that President Trump has coronavirus. Yay. Oh, yeah, they got taken yes, away I'm in a fine. helicopter. I'm fine. Now, I'm not happy that he got sick. I don't want anybody, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't want anybody to get sick and die. That, yeah, that's, I'm not that's an angel. Really. It didn't look like he got sick either. Like he, it, it, I'm well, not upset about it. I was waiting for that. I was waiting for that. So <laughs> the quick. best part, again, one of the things Trump did that I think was just so stupid that it also was like went back around the ball to, to yeah. be like crate. 
He could have gotten to the hospital any way he wanted. They fucking took a chopper, landed on the White House lawn, and took him away by chopper, to which he says, see, our medical system is great. No, motherfucker, choppers don't come out of the sky and pick me up when I'm sick. I know, that's crazy. So fucking dumb. Don't you wish you could get picked up by a chopper when you're sick? Oh my god! Yeah, That'd yeah. From awesome. school, hey, I got a, I got a flu, and then there's throws an ice pack at you and says, "All right, go wait for your mom in the front so office." So dumb, so fucking dumb. Um, in an go effort wait to for keep your helicopter, yeah, you were your big <laughs> helicopter, and it was like the uh, one of those nice like battle ready helicopter. Yeah, it wasn't it was an Apache, really but it was like one of those. I don't know what helicopter. they. Uh, oh my god, I should know the name of that helicopter. And I can't remember the name of it. Do you know Duracell? You're the helicopter guy. No, I don't. Boom, ba-dum, ba-dum, ba-dum. Duracell's not a helicopter. It's like guy. a carrying He's, helicopter. But I thought if I okay. threw it on him, he might be like, oh, and like just spit it out and he'd know the name real quickly. But I Like a, a shipping helicopter. What's the name of the guy it. who does our sounds again? I want to say it was a Huey, but bigger than a Huey. I don't know. Our sound effects guy? Yeah. No, that makes like, the, Oh, uh, Ferguson. Yeah. I want Troll to give Finger. a special shout out to Trollfinger for, yeah. because all these beats are like amazing. And he's and, got you? And dude, they're awesome. They're awesome. These are our 2020 beats. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I can't wait to see how much, like, I, he's still doing music for us, right? Yeah, he's actually doing animation now. So oh. maybe we can get some, like, cool. He's going to really? do some animation? Maybe we could do like, some animation Make for sure our, our YouTube Make sure he does the pig doing cocaine one that we did. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that would be pig so epic. Cocaine. Yeah. Um, in an effort to keep the nation informed on the president's health without creating confusion, the administration employs a two-pronged communication strategy. Prong one, the president's doctors hold press briefings in which they say that the president is doing fine. Prong two. Immediately after, White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows tells reporters that the president's vitals are worrying. Wow. (laughs) That's literally how that went down. Um, Hundreds of certified Twitter users are without medical degrees, without medical degrees, offer their insights on the situation. It's always nice. It's always great, right? Um, They give the medicine, they give Trump something. Uh, Antibody cocktail treatment of some kind of bullshit that they got steroids whatever um they get a motorcade ride around the hospital and trump's doctors describe they literally take the doctor's the motorcade like yeah. hey check it out um totally standard procedure not at all i actually wondered if trump even actually had it i, I feel like he didn't and i also heard that he like got the first covid vaccine quote unquote i heard that as well sorry i had to drink a sip of this beer drink beer yeah and look at me intensely yeah <laughs> like what's the the J- jumanji the, uh, oh the yeah, smolder. Yeah. <laughs> the guy stares at the camera. Um, meanwhile, while Trump's getting treated and gets fine, the virus just spreads around the White House. Yeah, everybody's got like coronavirus. People get it. Yeah, everybody's just <laughs> so ridiculous. Um, they confirm Amy Coney Barrett to Supreme Court justice, and she successfully complete, completes the Judiciary Committee hazing, which wasn't as intense as I thought it was going to be. So I think she must be okay. As far as like, yeah. because they really tore apart other people, but she seemed to be all right. So it's pretty much all that happened in October, right? Uh, Joe Biden enters the final stretch of his campaign. Um, and then we get to the debates next there's month. There's a debate with the, the, the vice president's debate. Oh, I remember yeah. thinking that was actually pretty good. I enjoyed Remember the fly? The fly. So listen, listen. The fly listen, landed on The vice on president's head. debate was so civil and like, it, I mean. Oh yeah, it was like the way it should it was, be. That's yeah. how every except debate. For, except for Pence looked like he's got punched in the face and had a fly in his head. True. Yeah. But other than that, it was fly a head. truly decent debate. Now, the presidential debate, on the other hand? Oh, my. Didn't the presidential happen before the Again, no, I don't remember the order. I think it, it did. Well, either way. No, it was I vice, remember, then, then president. I think he is vice president. Mm-hmm. I remember watching that and thinking again, look at this fucking pimp. Now, you go back and watch that presidential debate today. Go watch it. Trump all but says there's going to be shit at the White House if Biden wins. Go back and watch it. I remember watching it with my wife and going, is he saying there's going to be violence? And he's he did not say gonna, that? He, he alludes to it. He talks around it. He said enough things that made me say to my wife, I don't think he's going to transfer power peacefully. I, I think he's talking about civil war. And she's like, no, no, no. And now look where we're at. Yeah. Yeah. The crazy things that happened. Um, the we're, month comes to a close with Halloween. Had a brain fart. What is it called? The vice president had Pence, a... Pence? Uh, fly? What did they have? Elect candidate? Pre- uh, debate? Yeah, debate. Thank debate. you. Debate. Yeah, that is a quite a brain fart. Uh, Oh, in sports, coronavirus causes major sports disruptions in the fall football schedule, the result being that on a single afternoon, the New York Jets wind up losing to both Kansas City and Vassar. Vassar? That's not a... That doesn't... They're not making that up. I mean, Vassar's a thing, but they didn't play football. I was going to say, I don't don't think I've ever heard of that Every time I make up... Every time I read this guy's, like, you know, satire and, and funny, you guys both look at me like, wait, what? 
Like, like I get, Am I, I such get, a reputable news source that hearing crazy come out of my lips just make you go, that that must be true? No, no, no. I heard I heard it, and then I was just like, you know, you're thinking about it. I, I got I got around to it. I'm getting around to it. Uh, the month comes to a close with Halloween, a spooky, scary time. Oh, when the nation of, is haunted by the relentless onslaught of a polit- political attack ads, in which basically every candidate for public office is depicted as hideous, blood sucking ghoul. Do you remember all that? Every single yeah, that was crazy. It was like fire in the background on some of them, and they were like, yeah. ah, it was just I'd never seen it like that. In fact, was it two podcasts ago we talked about how other countries don't do political ads like we do, and they look at our ads and go, what the fuck is wrong with you, America? Yeah, like why? I remember yeah. that. All right, so. October is over. November. I mean, we know what happened in November. Yeah. There was an election. Um, yeah. Well, I just looked <laughs> up the debates ended October 22nd. They did? How about this? We all say our favorite quote from the debate. Oh, what you wrote them down. Remember I mean, you texted me. Yeah, you texted me. Here's all your favorite quotes. Do you have them written down still? Uh, I remember I when... I go uh, through the messages and see. It's really fucked, but I liked when Trump like just went off on him and like said... Well, your son's dead. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? fuck that you. was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty crazy. Um, Are you looking up the things you wrote I'm trying down? Trying to look at the. Uh, I'm looking through our group chat for the okay. podcast because I remember you did. You sent them to me. I sent one. Uh, I remember. I remember Durosel calling that one out. Like yeah. he just went after his kid. We were all really texting did, each other. Though. Yeah. I like that we all watched it too with such vigor. Like we were all like on our couches watching yeah, and texting back and forth. Why did he go after his kid? Because like he's that. a dick. Really fucked. Pretty funny. Um, it is kind of funny. Political experts. So this is election day, which, by the way, on election day, my house flooded. Just oh, yeah. I remember that. I want to point that out. Uh, political experts are confidently predicting an easy Biden win, possibly a landslide. We know that didn't happen. Uh, but the actual race turns out to be much more closer and several days pass without a clear winner. And the various states count ballots via their individual methods. And you got the Trump sore losers. And then there's all kinds of, it just Trump goes, there's losers. like six, I think, I think Trump filed 62 court they cases. All got, they all got shut yeah, down. They're all wrong. And everything. Trump claims he won by a lot. But he didn't. Not, I mean, yeah. uh, and it's being stolen from him very, very, during a. Um, he being, didn't even win the popular vote. No. Or anything. He claimed it was stolen for him via a vast, sophisticated, malignant, and purely hypothetical voter fraud scheme. Scheme that there's nothing. There's nothing there. Uh, um, all right, December. This is it. I'm in the month of December right now through our tax chain. The good news is, holiday retail sales are strong. <laughs> the bad news is. Most of these sales are online purchases of four seasons total landscaping t-shirts. Do uh, you guys remember when Giuliani put on the land the uh, the press conference to talk about Trump's loss and he says we'll do it in front of the four seasons and they go down and it's not the four seasons. I mean it is four seasons but it's a landscaping company in like an yeah. alley. Oh my god. That's uh, pretty great. Another great thing. Another amazing. thing where I'm like, you know what Trump, if you're going to be a dick at least you're entertaining. That was yeah. really fantastic. That was really good. Oh my gosh. Anyway, I mean, other than Christmas, I mean, nothing really happened in December other than that, too. Yeah, I can't find I mean, December I was, y'all. was I think maybe, I don't remember. Yeah. If it's not in our comment section oh. chain, it's going through. I'm going through all of them. Now. We have like seven. Coach chains. and I, yeah, Coach and I figured out one time to sell that, yeah. like, I'll text him and then I'll text him and you. Mm-hmm. Then I'll text him and you an idea for the comment section. Then I'll text him and you, not about comment section, but about like fishing. Yeah. We're in like seven group chats, all three of us together, and really? we should just have one. We're in seven? It's it's ridiculous. Why we don't just text each other on the same thread? Yeah. I don't know. I think you're the one that creates it, so that's on you. I mean, that sounds like me. Um, Yeah, that's it. That's the year. It's 2020. In review, I'm sure other years have been fucked. Um, it's a pretty memorable year, though. But Jesus, H. Christ. Anyway, comments. Can't find it. It's there somewhere. I, I, well, I won't. You're gonna be fine. And we got some memes going on the Instagram, right? Oh yeah, yeah. I got. I memed it up. It's okay. Always on there. Uh, comment section. You're in review. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll do it again next year. Hopefully. Maybe. Oh, well, you never know. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Why, whose birthday is it? Podcast. Oh, well, not today. No, well, it's coming up. Yeah, it is coming up. <laughs> <laughs>